Y'all, let me just say this out loud. The pandemic has been very difficult for all of us. Along with the uncertainty of what comes next, financial stresses, new living situations, and potentially a lot of new unhealthy habits that we've formed, it's not a surprise that many of us have gained what everyone's calling pandemic weight. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that a lot of my weight gain in my previous years came from being anxious all the time, overeating because I didn't have a plan, putting myself in scenarios where I was bound to fail and just generally forming unhealthy habits and not fixing them and not seeing how easily those could be fixed thinking there was just no other way so for whatever the reason if you may have gained some weight over this past year please know you are not alone this is something many of us are struggling with and it's not too late either which is the great news there's all sorts of time that we have that we can actually start to relearn good habits and get rid of those old bad habits and my hope is to help you get back to your healthy and happy mindset and body Body weight and so that you can be happy and feel good and positive going forward. All right, so if you're wondering if pandemic weight is actually a thing, definitely it is freaking real. Weight gain during the pandemic for adults rose about 22% according to a recent study, and it shows that people just had a difficult time adjusting to our surroundings, which makes a lot of sense because the surroundings were kind of insane. And there's a lot of reasons for this. Factors like lack of sleep, overeating, lots and lots of snacking, definitely decreased movement, especially if you've been quarantining, and a lot of stress eating, not to mention just higher stress levels in general. All of those all add up to overall weight gain. It's pretty inevitable if you have those ingredients in the mix. And I want to stress this weight gain during this stressful time is totally normal, and there's nothing wrong with you or any of us for gaining that extra weight. If you are unhappy with your current situation and your body weight and you feel bad about yourself, that's what we want to fix. So I want to help you create a positive mindset, live a healthier lifestyle so that that can help you feel better and have a better outcome. And brace yourself for this stat right here. The American Psychological Association did a survey on pandemic weight gain and the average amount of weight for adults that they reported was 29 pounds per that year. That is a lot of weight for people to be putting on in one year. So that will definitely cause an abrupt feeling of like, oh my goodness, what just happened? And having this extra weight gain can also lead to other health issues that we've learned about with COVID. So let's talk about five easy ways that we can start to get rid of that pandemic weight, live a healthier lifestyle, and just be overall have a happier, positive mindset. So number one is live a clean-ish lifestyle. We want to be living a lifestyle where we're choosing unrefined whole foods as much as possible and understanding that this is a clean-ish lifestyle, not a diet. That we just choose healthy foods that are low in added sugars, low in artificial colors and flavors, and low in just fake processed ingredients. And the more that we do that, the more our bodies can function the way that they're supposed to. And if you do that and you have the majority of your food be cleanish, then that's going to have a very positive effect on your immunity, on your body weight, and on your general overall happiness and energy levels too. If you're looking for how to eat clean, I have a video on how to eat clean for beginners that I can link to for you below that can get you started um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about right now. <laughs> <laughs> Number two is to get exercise and your daily steps in. And when I say daily steps, I just mean your general overall activity levels. So if you've watched my videos on NEAT and how I get my daily steps in, you know that steps are a huge part of a healthy lifestyle. It's a great way to burn extra calories, get your body moving, teach your body that it doesn't just get to sit on the couch all day. Research shows that those who have more activity in their day are gonna have longer lives, have more healthy body weight, and have a more positive mindset about life in general as well. And in addition to that, having an exercise plan that works for you is an ideal for this too. Now, I don't want you to go and think that you have to go run for miles on a treadmill. If that type of exercise isn't what you're looking for, then you're not going to enjoy it. I want you to find something that works for you. For example, I don't really like running, but I did learn that I really like strength training. So the fact that I can just go into a weight room and just do progressive overload and every day be a little bit better than the day I was before, grow muscle and lean body mass, that is just awesome for me and it works really well. It might not work for someone else. Someone else might want to do CrossFit or Camp Gladiator or yoga or whatever works best for you. We want to add in that exercise as much as possible. Adding in this extra exercise and the daily steps are going to improve your immunity, make you feel happier and reduce that body weight. So it's just a really good option and just part of a healthy, cleanish lifestyle too. Oh, and if you want to learn more about weight training and how I lost my weight without doing any cardio, I have a video just 
just on that and I can link to that below for you. Number three is getting adequate sleep and making sure that you get that good rest in. That is so important. Many people during the pandemic have reported losing quality sleep and quantity of sleep. So they're probably up struggling to fall asleep because of their worry and that causes more anxiety as you're trying to sleep. Problem with not getting enough sleep is it does not help your body weight and what it does is it actually increases your cortisol levels which don't help with body weight either and they increase your stress. It's a very big cycle where if you don't get enough sleep you're not going to get all of the other benefits that you're trying to get from a healthy lifestyle. Making sure that you're following a cleanish diet and getting those daily steps and exercise is definitely going to help improve your tiredness when it's time to get ready for bed and then also I recommend not having any caffeine after five o'clock so that you don't have that residual effect as you're trying to fall asleep. Getting rid of TV right before bed helps some people. Reading, having a nice routine and making sure that your room is as dark as possible. These are all ways that we can improve our sleep just by changing kind of our environment just a little bit. Number four, seek professional help. Now I want to point this out because the pandemic has been a traumatic event for many of us. You know, too much weight gain during the pandemic, like excessive amounts, could be a sign of some mental health issues that you might want to address. So if you're feeling so down that you can't get out of bed, that you can't smile, that you can't get enough energy to do your normal daily activities, then definitely consider seeking some professional help like a therapist. Plus, a therapist can also teach you behavioral strategies for reducing your anxiety and stress. They can help you one-on-one -on -one figure out a plan so that when you start to feel anxious that you can follow certain steps that work for you that'll help reduce that anxiety. And then they can help you track it. So I definitely recommend seeking professional help if you feel like you need it. On the other hand, if you're just needing a little bit of structure in your life and you need someone to kind of guide you on what to do, I also have a 30-day healthy program that has meal planning, it teaches you about clean eating, and it also has a daily email for support. So if you just need that little bit of a nudge and you want like a little bit of hand holding along the way, then check out my 30-day healthy program because it could be what you need and it could be a nice bridge to get you back into being healthy. Number five is be kind to yourself. And this one is a biggie. And this is kind of one I put in there because I need to tell myself this as well, all the time. <laughs> With all the stuff that's going on around us, it's easy to forget about you and yourself and your goals and all the things that you want to do in life because all these other things all this other noise is telling you about all these other things you have to focus on and be mad about or worried about or scared about you really can't pour from an empty cup so the more you let all of that drain out your energy and positivity the more your cup is going to be drained and so what we want to do is we want to build up our own selves again we want to move past that trauma find ways that we can enjoy our time again and find ways that we can be the most effective at work, at friendships, at relationships, at life, at eating healthy, at exercising, at just being good people. All of these will help kind of fill up that cup so that we have more to give so that when something does hit us that is more of a traumatic event, it doesn't completely ruin us. So check out my 30 day healthy program if you're looking for that little bit of support and nudge and take care of yourselves. I will see you in the next video.